So guys, hello from Cerro Catedral and as promised this is the first day on the piste and I'm not going to spend long talking about technical stuff, skiing and all that sort of stuff yet because that's going to be when the group arrives and we actually have people here to talk about ski exercises and what we do to prepare ourselves for a ski instructor course or for the camps and clinics. What I want you to do today is just enjoy this view from Cerro Catedral. This is the largest ski area in the Southern Hemisphere and it's absolutely phenomenal. You can see what it's like. You can see the snow here. And even though the snow is such high quality and everything's so good, I'm gonna discipline myself to take it easy this morning, focus on my feet, focus on my balance, and focus on my stance just for the first few runs. So guys, we are heading up Nubes, a very famous chairlift in Bariloche, one of the favorites for the locals. Nubes, uh, if you translate it to English, means clouds. So this is the lift that takes you up into the clouds, basically. Um, due to weather conditions and things, often you find this lift closed if you have high winds, etc. And the Andes is prone to wind. So today, for example, would be a class is a really good day because there's very limited wind at this time there's no strong gusts of winds or anything like that and actually new bears when we've stepped onto it there heading towards 10 o'clock was completely empty and i think that's also thanks to the fact that even though this is the busiest week of the year it is a very large ski area they've had extremely good conditions this year which means everything's open and as i've said before actually here I'd say 70-80% of people are real beginner, low intermediate level and they wouldn't be really to go up a lift like this because it's quite advanced terrain up here. And as we go over the top of this, not only do you see the fantastic off-piste all around you, if you're into variable off-piste, cliff drops, or you're really into moguls, that sort of stuff, then Bariloche is the place. It's one of the reasons why we do a lot of our level three instructor course training down here, and actually even started doing a level three Austrian exam here as well, because the off-piece terrain is perfect for the students. Now, this lift system is taking me up a fantastic um, bumps run that goes from the very top of Nubes all the way down where these two skiers are in the distance and as that that area gets skied out it gets bumpier and bumpier also in addition they're starting to invest massively into Cerro Cathedral I can see a new turbo lift system here called Lenga I think it's called and we're going to take you across there it's the first time that I've ever been on this lift um, and the Princess 3 lift system that they've still got used to take you forever to get up it because it's such a slow lift system. But this new lift system is going to relieve a huge amount of pressure from the central area where I was just skiing before because people are going to want to get onto the runs across here also. And also beyond that pitch where Lenger is going down there, there are even more lift systems across that way as well. So. The area is huge. I'm not going to take you through everything today because as we do all our students and we start to do the teaching stuff, you're going to see the whole terrain. But as you can see, this terrain running under here, this black run, um, which is, it's never groomed or very rarely, I, I think I've seen it groomed once or twice. Um, it basically becomes a fantastic variable off-piece terrain for that advanced uh, ski clinics, camps, and of course, people training for the level three or the level four instructor courses. Now we don't just have skiers down here. We have boarding courses down here as well. So we have snowboarders down here as well as skiers. And those ski camps and clinics for those people who really just want to train up and to, to come and ski with Ski Instructor Academy or Snowboard with Ski Instructor Academy and train with the highest level coaches and look at the, the ski analysis, the board analysis in the evening. It gives you all that opportunity as well. Hey, look back here at this view that I've got today. It's phenomenal. If you can twist himself that far around. So let's get at the top of Nubes, show you what's behind here because you're going to see some phenomenal terrain of the Andes and then we'll head across to that new lift and check it out. Hey 
Hey guys, I mean seriously, you do not see views like that in Europe, even in the Alps itself, in the Dolomites and that. You know, it's still an unbelievable view here in the Andes. It's incredible how far I can see today as well with some of the highest mountains in the Andes, you know, way off in that direction. It's fantastic, absolutely incredible terrain here. So guys, we've made our way to the new chairlift. It's called Lenga. Um, it's a four-man chairlift. And as I said, I find that it, it's awesome because we've just been down the red run that leads down to this chairlift. Perfectly groomed, really grippy snow for this time of year. Um, and it's, it's going to give a bit more spread to the mountain. There's no doubt about it. You can now see off to the other side where we came from, way over there on this side of the mountain as well. Um, today I'm not going to venture right out to the right side or even probably right out to the left side but as I said during the tutorials and during the lessons and that you'll see the rest of the mountain. What I really want to find out is that Southern Hemisphere skiing there's always that little bit of a gamble with the seasons you know whether you're in New Zealand, Australia or South America it's always difficult to know what you're going to get like for example through the Covid um, over the last two years the first season with COVID here in Bariloche was phenomenal. It was one of the best seasons they'd had for decades. The following season, that is last year, um, things started to open up, but it was a very dry season and it had very limited snowfall. And this season, they're having a phenomenal season, a really, really good season for snow. And in fact, you can ski all the way down into the base. Now, the reason that we predominantly do most of our courses in South America was because of snow surety. We do find between Chile and Argentina, we tend to get better snow than we were getting in New Zealand, Australia. But that said, we have, as I say, a course running in New Zealand now, which is having incredible snow this year. Um, I was speaking to Dean from Rookie Academy, you know, and he was telling me skiing runs that he hasn't skied since he was a kid. And you have to remember Dean's 70 years old now. So it's, um, it is a little bit of a gamble, and that's why I said to you, generally, if you're coming to South America, you would wait until, you know, August at least. And as I keep saying, getting into September, it, they're having phenomenal conditions at the back end of the season. So this is Cerro Cathedral. We can't wait to have the group arrive, which is basically this weekend. We'll have a bit of a coordination with them, and then we'll start the lessons. See you soon again with Ski Instructor Academy.